guys welcome back to another amazing tutorial for me so today i will be doing a lace ventilation tutorial but something different okay so i have sat down to think about this so many persons may want to learn lace ventilation but they don't have the money to get the tools as a beginner or they are not even sure that lace ventilation is something they really want to go into so they might not want to invest money into it until they are sure about that so i decided to do some diy tools that you can use to practice as a beginner while i teach you how to ventilate okay so first we'll be starting off with the ventilating needle and for the ventilating needle we'll be needing any type of wood that you can get so this is an old makeup brush that i had that i don't use so you can use this if you have it and you also need a plier and then an office pin You would also need any type of wool or rope you can get and then a glue. So first, I'm going to be using my plier to bend the tip of the office pin. So you just basically want to use your plier to bend the tip over. Just basically watch what I'm doing so you get to see. So this is what it looks like. And next, you just basically want to keep bending. And after bending, you want to try to bend the tip because the tip is the most important part. So you need to bend the tip so it has a bit of a hook, if you get what I mean, because the hook is the part that you will need to ventilate. So what I did was to place the um, pin on a table and then I used the plier to hit the tip of the needle slightly so there will be like a tiny hook at the tip of the needle okay so you just want to place the needle on a flat surface and then you slightly hit the tip of the needle with a hard material like the plier or anything you can get and that's just basically going to help you get the hook because the hook is what you need to be able to ventilate Next up, I'm going to use my blade to scrape off the um, surface of the wood or the stick. Have like a rough surface so the glue would be able to hold the thread to the wood, okay? So next up, I'm going to place the pin on the wood and then use my rope to tightly tie the pin to the, the wood. That I'm going to um, put the glue on the thread or the rope and this will just basically help me secure everything together so you want to leave it to get dried after you place the glue and then you can use it afterwards DIY mannequin head will be needing a plastic bag will be needing a jean trouser or any jean material that you're not using or you would not use in a very long time so want the material to be strong enough to hold the pin and you also need a tape so you want to fold the jean material or the trouser in a ball like form and then you place it inside the plastic bag and then you secure everything together with your tape you want to ensure that it is very tight so it will be able to hold your pin when you um, use your pin on it okay So guys, next up, I'll be using my black tape to create a contrasting background so I can be able to see the lace properly while ventilating. So I'm just um like taping the diaba mannequin head we did so that it's going to have this black background and it will be very easy for me to see my lace nets. moving on to the ventilation part i always advise beginners to start with very little amount of hair because when you start with so much hair it can be very difficult and complicating for you so we are going to pass the needle in one hole and bring it out from the next hole okay so now that we have it passed we are going to pick the hair right when you pick the hair you're going to maintain a tension you can see that i'm holding it tight but not too tight so it doesn't cut the hair and then you gently take it out of the hole and when you already have it out of the hole you just place the hair on top of the needle like this and then you turn the needle over and then you bring the hair out 
okay so now we have our knots so let's try again so you pass it in one hole you bring it out from the next hole you pick some hair you bring it out of the hole you place the hair on top of the needle you wrap the needle over and then you bring it out right so you want to keep trying till you perfect it and that's just basically how you ventilate as the hair in one hole bring it out on the next hole you take your hair you bring it out you put the hair on top of the needle you wrap it and then you bring it out so guys that's basically all if you find this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below also subscribe to my channel for more amazing content see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and bye